when I told a number of people that I was talking to you today, it was interesting, though. They all said, would you please just ask her, does the president have dementia? And so before I move on from that, does he? That, Mark, Mark, I can't even believe you're asking me this question. That is a credibly offensive question to ask. But you know uh, people ask it. Wait, oh, let me, no, 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 no. You, Mark, you, 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 you took, you're taking us down this rabbit hole. Let me, uh, let me, uh, let me be very clear about this. Uh, for the past several years, the president's physician has laid out very com- in a comprehensive way uh, the president's health. Uh, this is a president, if you watch him every day, if you really pay attention to his record and what he has done, you will see exactly how focused he's been on this, the American people, how historic his actions has been. And so I'm not even going to truly, truly, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, really... You know, take take the premise of your question. I think it is uh, incredibly insulting, and uh, and so we can you know we can move on to the next question. Gas prices and grocery prices, then big topics here in North Carolina. How does uh, Mr. Biden win votes when people don't have as much disposable income? Look, the president understands. Uh, he grew up in in a middle class family, a working class family in Scranton, Pennsylvania. He gets it. He understands how difficult it is for Americans who are sitting around their kitchen table every month trying to figure out what they're going to pay for. You have to remember when the president walked into this administration, there were multiple crises happening. There was COVID. There was uh, the economy was in a tailspin because of the last administration, because of what the, the President Trump left us with. Now you're asking me about gas prices. The president took action on gas prices. Let's not forget Russia's invasion on Ukraine skyrocketed prices of gas. And because the president took action, we see we are in a different place than we were a year ago in gas prices. Uh, Eggs, milk, uh, seafood products, uh, all the important uh, groceries, those costs have gone down because of what this president has been able to do. And And with that, thank you so much, Mark. Have an amazing, amazing day. Wow. Wow. And she hung up. Wow. I mean, Mark, this, this, you, listen, I am nominating you to get a press corps badge and you need to go to the White House. I'm sorry, but you asked three, four incredibly salient, important questions that are all front of mind. Nothing out of bounds, no baba booing or anything like that. Right. And you did it exactly right on. And I don't understand. I don't understand the, the fragility of this person. I mean, no.